All right, I want to turn our focus to a woman in trouble. This is an American woman. Her name is Martha O'Donovan. She's from our area. She's 25 years old, graduated from NYU, moved to Zimbabwe, and is a part of an organization trying to bring about change in the dictator in Zimbabwe. And she's facing 20 years in prison. The charge? Subversion. Why a tweet that attacked dictator Robert Mugabe. I want to bring in our A-plus panel to break this down. Afia Yunus is here, immigration attorney. Thanks for sticking with me. And two political strategists, Jeanette Hoffman and Andre Richardson are here. Uh, Afia, let me start with you. You're an immigration attorney. I'm you know, dealing with these uh, issues across borders. You've got a communist uh, dictatorship in Zimbabwe and uh, a woman living there tweeting about effectively rebelling against the government. I, I, I can't imagine she's surprised with these consequences. No, and, and part of me thinks that she knew what she was doing. Um, she's been involved with different uh, political resistance movements, so I could foresee that this was something she was trying to to do for some time and implement change. To go back to um, the issue of whether we should, you know, the Department of State should get involved, right. um, congresspersons assist constituents around the world on a regular basis. Um, and so I do believe that it is her congressperson's obligation to kind of assist her and, and see if he can coordinate some type of help. Jeanette, do you agree with that? I mean, what kind of resources should we be expending? People have to know the risks. You're in a dictatorship. Right. You're tweeting about it. You're going after the president. Right. I mean, I, well, this it seems, seems nuts to me. Yeah. I mean, it seems like she did know what she was doing. Yeah. This is not someone who's uneducated. She's a Fulbright scholar. She's there on a mission to overthrow the government. And she doesn't have the protections of the freedom of speech that we have in this country. Andre, let me ask you, are you just responsible for your own stupidity? I think that this is a, this is a class, classic case where privilege does not equal to consciousness. Uh, President Mugabe has been historically killing his own people mm -hmm. and arbitrarily killing white members specifically of the media. So if her goal was to receive martyrdom, then she's probably very close Who's to getting there. Who's privilege? What do you mean by that statement? I mean that he's, I mean her privilege. Why is she yeah. in an African, why is she in Africa tweeting about overthrowing the government, thinking that she has the same American civil liberties? Is this because she's white? It's not because she's white. It's because she's she's invoking privilege and that she no, has here it, that think, she does not have there. I think it's this country's responsibility, though, to uh, carry that flag of freedom of speech throughout the world, and we can use this opportunity to um, to vanguard that that cause um, yeah, that she's is, trying to implement. But I mean, she's not in America we, right now. She she's in an African agreed, country. Agreed, but, but yeah. one of and our democratic values is to spread the freedom of speech and the value it carries. But what about her attorney? I mean, how irresponsible it seemed to me. She came out. Her statement was basically that my client should be freed because they didn't follow procedure. I'm thinking when it comes to dictators, they don't really have a procedure <laughs> well, that they're that worried about. Her legal argument, it just seems but. ignorant he, and naive. He is yeah. a horrible dictator. He has gone after the press uh, multiple times trying to shut down the freedom of the media, and now he's going after social media. So she obviously knew the risks. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, I know our U.S. government is going to intervene. Well, if they can do it on a phone call, that's fine, but not one American life should be put in jeopardy to save Absolutely. this idiot. All right, thanks, guys. Good to see you, Afia, Jeanette, thanks, Andre. Bill. Thank you.